Hello YouTube, my name is Jens, Jens Hansen from Germany. I live in a little village named Mützingen in Wendland. It's in the north of Germany and I have a bike barn since 1999. And my profession is to repair Fichtel and Sachshubs, the torpedo one speed, the very nice two speed, duomatic and automatic and all the three speeds since 1929 until the 80s. I also build wheels and restore old German bicycles. And my first hub, my first Zax hub I have opened, it was a three-speed model 515. I have it opened around 1975. I was a boy and something inside was broken and I have to try to repair it. I, c I cannot say that my profession since this hub goes like a rocket, but through my life I have repaired many Fechtel and Sachs hubs. And I think I have to tell you and to the YouTube much about this hubs and I like it so much and I won't bring it now Yes, to YouTube, maybe to grow a little by have a German website and also an English website named Coaster Break, torpedocoasterbreak.com. And if you want write me, the best way is to do it over my websites with email. And you can ask me questions about these hubs. But I won't bring videos about the things I have learned about these hubs. And so I wish you much fun. And now <laughs> let's get started. I have two important rooms for my work. One is with my computer. And the second is to repair hubs and build wheels. In front you see an orange frame out of the German Democratic Republic. It's a frame from a bike called Mod 167. I have built a, a, a bike for me with European parts, an English Storme Acher hub, a crankset from Austria and some parts out of Switzerland, some from Germany. Uh, I have done it for fun. But I like very much to drive this bike in the summer. The second is also a diamond, but it's um, a frame from West Germany. It's rare because normal you only find diamond in this time in the German Democratic Republic, but it's a diamond Bielefeld and I'm happy to have it. With this machine I refurbish hub shells. I don't use this machine like it normal will be used but but no oh no I, I think I, I show it in another video I have much time to bring one video after the next video and we have to wait a little this is a set of a model 515 three speed I have refurbished it and I have to clean more and rebuild the hub and so I bring the set, the set a little bit later to the World Wide Web. I repair also the shifters. It's good quality out of the 60s and I like to repair these little parts. These are double speed torpedoes, a black edition from the Second War and a chrome edition from the time of the 50s. I have many tools. These are to open crank set of old German bikes. It's, it's hard to open it but I think I show in one of the next videos. I won't post it to YouTube. It 
inside of this you can see some rare hubs and it's like a little shrine for me <laughs> maybe yes like a little shrine and um, there are inside in the middle with the red plastic parts not Fichtel and Sachs hubs it's a Shimano AB100 it's one of the most efficient two-speed automatic sub of the world of the late 60s and you can with this red plastic part adjust the shifting point no other company has built a hub like this at the left side you can see a Storme Acher automatic R2 it is, it is horrible Yes, I cannot use other words. It is horrible because the hub is without function. At the right side you see a cadet hub shell of an automatic A2110 and I want bring one of the next videos about this hub. Something very special is in this box. It's not real light. It is a mechanism to shift from the first into the second gear. On the top normal you find the flea whites and at the right side this is a part out of a Zax A2110 and at the left side it is a part of a SRAM automatics and a little bit later I want to bring a German video from my website in English up to my new channel Coaster Break. Now I have told you something about me and my work and in this first video I also want to bring some details about the Duomatic Mod 102. I have to repair a back wheel of a Moulton stowaway. Normal inside a stowaway is a one speed Perry coaster. And the customer has sent me a back wheel with a Duomatic because for him it is better to have two speeds. To build it in a stowaway, for me it is not a big problem, but if you only need original bikes, maybe you won't say, oh this is not so nice. Okay, I have very much German documents and I have some English documents and with my work the last years I can bring much information to YouTube and I will do it. This is a cutted hub shell of a Duomatic model 101 or 102. The model 101 is, an, is a hub without a brake. But it feels like, if you pedaling backwards, like you have a clutch into this hub. And the model 102 is a back pedaling two-speed hub with a coaster brake and at the next steps I will show you this parts. The winding of the axle of the Mod 102 is FG 10.5. For this axle you, you also can use nuts of a 3-speed Zax Hub or a SRAM T3. And 
If you want to open the lock nuts, you need a special tool. It looks like this. For a FG 10.5 axle, you only need one of these tools. Now the hub is open and I want to show you three mistakes I find in this hub. The fix cone at the right side. At the driver, it adjusts a little ball bearing in the driver and a fix cone have to be fixed. If you can draw the lock nut, it is a big mistake. One of the biggest mistakes every torpedo hub can have. The next mistake is, it is a wrong dust cap for the driver behind the sprocket. This is a dust cap of a R2110, the second edition of the Duomatic or a three-speed torpedo. And the next mistake was to put this washer under both lock nuts. You have to put this washer, it fits on the axle between the lock nuts and with this you can adjust the play for the ball bearings at the left side near the brake arm. Now I have to clean the hub shell, all the parts of the gear hub and after I have cleaned it I have to oil and to grease the internal parts and put it together and this will I show to you in the next step. Many, many, many times in my life people have asked me how I have to grease or oil my hub. And I've never getting tired, <laughs> I don't know if it is correct, I'm never getting tired to answer. For the ball bearings you only use normal grease, for a brass break you use Vaseline, for a steel brake you use steel brake grease and for the rest oil. If you like your hub, you do this work to repack the hub every three years and before clean all the parts out of the Fichtel and Sachs torpedo hub and if you will do this work you can drive your hub the next 10, 20 or 30 years. Yes, it is true. This was a dust cap, dust cap on the Mod 102, but it is a dust cap of a R2110 or a 3-speed of the 70s or 80s from Sachs. This is the correct dust cap. You have to put it on the driver and then the sprocket and then a, a lock a lock spring and if you don't find this spare part you can use a dust cap from the left side this is the brake arm this is the lever cone and at the middle you can cut this part and if you have cut is cut this middle part you can use this left side dust cap for the right side but you have to work for it it is the only way to find a dust cap for a duomatic 102 this is a small ball bearing out of the driver and if you look on the top inside the ring the seven balls are a little bit gray or black. I have changed it and have set inside the ball bearing new balls. The new balls are out of a ball bearing out of the 50s or 60s with the same measurement for the balls. You can repair every ball bearing but you only have to look about the measurements of the bolts. I hope this will help you to repair your driver. It is one of the parts 
it's sometimes broken because of the play of the ball bearings of the big balls from the hub shell is not be correct and so all the cones and maybe also the hub shell will be damaged in the hub. You have to adjust the ball bearings better every summer than every 30 years. Inside of a model 102 is a brass brake. It is normal for the 60s. And if you want to have a good brake, you have to work for the brake shoe with sandpaper. After this work, put on the brass brake Vaseline. A little bit around the brass brake, some at the noses and something inside of the lever cone. Fill the lever cone inside with Vaseline. If you're driving down from a hill, your hub getting hot, the brass brake takes Vaseline out of this depot. Some of the parts out of a Duomatic 101 or 102 is the dock ring and is, it is important for the second gear. If you shift in the second gear your power will, be, will mount over this dock ring on the hub shell so you can drive with the second gear. This part sometimes is broken next to the knobs because it is a little bit too small. I will show you now some parts of my stock. Look at this. The stock ring has one cut. Most of the times the dock ring is broken in two parts and for a Duomatic 101 or 102 it is not good to drive it with a broken dock ring. I think if you have problems with this part it is better to buy a second Mod 102 and ask in front <laughs> if you give the owner the money is the dock ring broken or not and if you have a second hub you have parts for the next 10 or 20 years to repair your 102. These are my second hand parts from the Duomatic 102 and I have one complete dock ring to repair the next Duomatic someone sent to me. To sell a dock ring separate is not so clever for me. Now I want to repair this wonderful hub from a molten stowaway. And I hope you have had fun with this video. I won't bring more. And now it's time to say bye bye. Your Don Torpedo from Germany out of the bike barn. Now I have repaired the Duomatic 102. It sounds well. And I want to tell you one important thing. If you look at the axle, you have to put below the nuts, the axle nuts, a special washer. This is the old version, it fits on the axle and if you change into the second gear normal the axle won't draw in the frame and if you have this washer the axle could not draw. 
you also can use the second edition from Sachs or SRAM with noses and you have to put the noses into the frame. This is a hub at the right side. The lock nut for the fixed cone. This is the space for the frame. This is the retaining washer. And this is the axle nut with a washer on it.